All right, welcome to the third review of the evening. Up this time is Technicity, a first-person city-building game with powerful tools that allow you to build faster and bigger, design your own construction blocks and furniture in factories, terraform the open world, build roads, and use vehicles to travel to different cities that you or your friends create in solo or co-op mode. Right, so this game was given over to the Galax for review. So over to him for the details. So yeah, um, it's so like there are some aspects of it that are a little bit SimCity-ish, but overall, this kind of comes off as realistic urban Minecraft. Huh. Um, I will start off being honest about this. I did not get very far because I was having some trouble with the base controls in the tutorial, and also the tutorial was really long, and the way that stuff happened, it didn't end up working very well. But yeah, it let you set up a warehouse, and then the warehouse lets you get uh, tools that you can use to build buildings more easily. The second thing is using a crane to build a multi-story building by copy-pasting stories. Um, which did not work well for me because uh, the selection was janky and also while I was trying to select the area to copy, I accidentally uh, somehow phased the freaking crane out of existence and had to... Thankfully, I didn't have to rebuild everything because you can cancel your construction without... Uh, you can cancel your construction without disassembling things, although that's also an option. But it was kind of a pain... So, yeah, um, I had some issues with control jank. Um, like, when you're selecting to lay multiple blocks, the way they want you to do that is by tapping A or pressing A while you relocate, which is not amazing with a game that has no controller support and wants you to move around using WASD generally. So when I was trying to select things, I, I would move to the left, and I was like, okay, well... Optimally, you don't fall off anything when you're doing that, but... Um, also, it just... You have a lot of granular control, so if you like having a lot of granular control over... Like, the next step after that is... Learning how to build, like, furniture and objects to go in houses. So you have the ability to uh, build buildings, furnish them... And then, while all this is happening, and starting before you start building anything, there are NPCs going about their daily lives, even if they don't have anywhere to live. So, also, even just when you have this first thing where, you bu where you're building a warehouse, uh, you can use the, uh, the steamroller they give you to do stuff like flatten huge amounts of area. I was just about to say, good lord, did I get God Steamroller? You Jeez. can also use you can also, if you right click on that, you can use that to change the type of ground that the area is. It's the surface option. Smooth, I'm not sure what does. So yeah, you could like use that to turn the ground to asphalt or whatever. So yeah. Um, again, it's not bad, but, like, compared to, I mean, I have never myself played Minecraft. I have watched people play Minecraft. Um, the amount of grant, like, being able to design stuff is nice, but the ability to... Like, you can only build stuff in a set area where you're saying you're building stuff and you generally, like, assign a purpose to the thing beforehand. <laughs> okay, being able to just run over cars might be the more fun thing about this. Yeah. 
See, that's the kind of thing I'm talking. Like, it's it's there's some charm here, and like the the stuff that you can build and do stuff with is kind of cool. But I found the controls kind of janky and not able, be, not being able to directly access stuff was kind of a pain. Also, unlike Minecraft, while you can just when you're out of your thing, right click on the ground and dig a bit or destroy blocks that have been placed. Uh, to get the blocks, you literally just go to your tab menu and buy certain types of blocks, which I understand is how it goes in a lot of, like... And you can't do that while you're in the... Uh... Okay, so that just... The smooth just removes the ridges. That's what I assumed it would do. Yeah. But... It's a little bit different than level. Yeah. So, yeah. It gives you... But, like, compare that to uh, The Sims. Where you... <laughs> just use a menu to do that instead of having to get into a... Uh, That's janky just, tank controls. This is uh, not how steamrollers work. Yeah, a janky tank control steamroller with a ridiculous AoE. <laughs> I could just fucking flatten the planet with this. That yeah. might actually be more fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's that that's the kind of thing where I come down like I get what you're doing, but the realism scale is not even. Okay, like, what happens for all when of I go the to realistic the water? aesthetics? A lot of the stuff you're doing is not particularly realistic. <laughs> Frankly, to me, a lot of the appeal of a Minecraft would have been, okay, I did not know you could do this, although there wasn't that much water near where I started. Meanwhile, I'm over <laughs> here literally making my own path across the ocean. Also, I literally don't think it matters. Like, you you could probably make a warehouse that was just one brick and it would count. I think I didn't try that because it's a building game, so I wanted to try to build. <laughs> oh I didn't God. give up on that until I said it to uh, until I said it to make the five story building it wanted me to make, and realized I hadn't made any internal floors or a door. Mm. Did the Price is Right fail noise play then? No, I just broke a hole in the side and tried to put in some stairs, and then got sick of it. So yeah, if you like this kind of game, I honestly can't promise how much of the jank is inherent to the game and how much of it is due to my lack of experience with games in this genre, but it definitely looks clunkier than Apparently you can drown Minecraft. Yeah, but it takes a fucking while. <laughs> Oh, and that completed your <laughs> your walking around challenge. That was worth it. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, there's something here, but it doesn't seem amazingly integrated, and some of the stuff is pretty jank. Uh, I had some trouble selecting things on on a time and just not thrilled at it. They haven't taught you to use the cement mixer yet in spite of the fact that it's there and you can't move it. Uh, I think you lost the steamroller, but if you cancel the warehouse build and reactivate it or make another one, it will give you another steamroller. The steamroller comes with the worksite and goes away when the worksite is done. Or at least that's how it worked with the crane when I accidentally cancelled it out of existence by flying the drone through it. Remember, at all times, you have a drone that you can use to, like, look at stuff. Uh... I don't know. Maybe it did work. Yeah, and this click <laughs> click on opposite corner thing doesn't work well for me. That was one of the things I had the most trouble with. 
because when you're trying to do a three-dimensional area, you have to go from the bottom to the top as well as from one corner to the other corner. So, yeah, it's 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 a sandbox game that's there for building stuff that you want to build. That is the general, yeah, I probably should have used that, but it didn't tell me how to use the stupid cement mixer yet, so I was trying to, trying to do what it would tell me to do so this tooltip would go away. Also, you do get charged for stuff, but you also get passive income just for existing, and it increases based on how much stuff you have built. Apparently, so... It's not much of a significant limitation. Did you just... Yeah. So yeah, this counts as a warehouse. It 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 serves the purpose of a warehouse because you said I'm going to build a warehouse when you did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Like I said, there's a there's something missing here in terms of like gameplay and world integration. Wait, how much was that income? Was that like a thousand something? I think so. So yeah, there's a hack. Build a fucking pave a gold square on the ground. Yeah. And then you'll and then you'll get income really fast. <laughs> there's also uh, multiplayer. Not like well, I think there is also actual co-op multiplayer, but there's also like workshop integration where you can put stuff that you built in the workshop yeah and uh d download things that other people have built as presets uh which is neat i just i don't the fact that until you build anything you just got people driving around that as soon as you build something you get income regardless of the fact that people are still just driving around Welcome to Capitalism. In, in, in your quote-unquote city. It makes it not quite work for me. Like, but that's, maybe that's a me thing. Objectively, I think the biggest problem is that it's just a little bit jank. Um, I don't know. Uh, there, there wasn't any significantly appealing or disturbing music. Um, Adam, what, what, what's the price on this? Hmm. So, normal price is let me see seventeen ninety nine. Like though, it is on deep, deep discounts at, right at this moment. Um, going for four forty nine, seventy five percent off. Okay, for five bucks, sure, get in and mess around. For seventeen or eighteen dollars, I would. Uh, be cautious. Hmm. Because, I mean, isn't Minecraft like... I wouldn't pay more than Minecraft for this, to be sure. Uh, that's about the price of Minecraft, I think. Like, okay. Like, uh, I'll I be honest. I, think, I, I still think this is... Uh, like, you're, you're it, combining it Minecraft the... and, like, SimCity. Like... <clears throat> I appreciate that you get more detail in the thing. Like, in Minecraft, a pickaxe is a pickaxe, and a table is a table, and you only have so much ability to build a table that doesn't look like their table. Mm. But, I don't know. It it just... It certainly isn't doing it for me, but I don't think it's, like, objectively bad. Just not great. Um, and if you want to do some Minecraft style building in a more urban style uh, without going through the effort of adding mods to Minecraft, uh, this is definitely something that can supply that. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I think that's about where I'm gonna come down on it. There's just right. there's really not like a plot or anything or characters or anything. 
All right. Well, that'll about do it for technicity here. Then be sure to tune in after the break as we review Baron of Blood. <laughs>